Bishop Clyde Martin Harvey speaking on his weekly program, Conversation with the Bishop, in addressing the signing of the Samoa Agreement, said Grenada and other Caribbean islands does not lose their sovereignty and no one can force us to do what we do not want to do. And we have to be clear in places like Grenada and Jamaica and so on. We remain sovereign. Nobody can force us to do what we don't want to do. And let's be very clear about that. In the process, we have choices to make. But it is for us to interpret that. And uh, we cannot just attack government officials and so on simply because somebody says that they signed an agreement. If they sign an agreement, the overall agreement is what they sign. You still have to bring it down to the level of the individual countries. And uh, it's good to know that people can say to the government here, the government in Trinidad and so on, listen, you have to be careful about these things, but you have to be also clear about what those things mean. You know, and uh, my in information is that it does not mean that we have to have abortion. It does not mean that we have to have same-sex marriage. Right? It says that these are the human rights issues which we will have to consider, but we are the ones who have to consider it, and we have to maintain our sovereignty. Bishop Harvey reminded us Catholics of our Christian duty not to distort and create a hype for our own gains but to seek clarity on parts of the document that we are not clear on. People also have a, a duty before God in truth not to distort what is in yeah. a document in order to create a hype yeah. Yeah. and sometimes for your own political ends mm -hmm. to... But th isn't that where the church comes in as well? Because whatever happens in the, in the country um, would have some effect on the followers of the church. So if mm -hmm. there is something that creates a disturbance, um, where does the church come in into those policies? How the, first, the first obligation of the church is to find out the truth about what is going on. So you have some people who are looking because you have some watchdogs, you have we, people who are have studying more, these documents. We have more than people who are looking and studying. Studying have, the documents have with people, the eye. We have Catholics who were part of the drafting of the document. You mean that document? Yes. That document began years ago, you know, it didn't yeah. just begin. Yeah. Years ago. And at the time when that document began, the debate, so the Secretary General of the ACP was mm -hmm. a Caribbean person, right, who had been a priest. And his ethical understanding of these things, very clear. And what he has been saying to me is, that is not the intention of the document. People are reading into it. You know, there's something called eisegesis. People are reading into it what they want to read into it for their own ends. And I, I'll be bold enough to say sometimes it is because of what they stand to gain from it. <laughs> so if you join us in creating a hullabaloo over this, mm -hmm. then you stand to gain whatever you stand to gain. Mm -hmm. The agreement was signed by Ambassador Rafael Joseph, resident ambassador in the Kingdom of Belgium, on behalf of Grenada on November 22, 2023. In the interest of the public and to foster educational conversation, we will make the link to the document available on our platforms.